Hi everyone, welcome to the latest video, which is the uh, driver's theory test quiz. British. The British, yes. I mean, we both did a British license. So. We both got British licenses. Yeah. So, today we've got the driver's theory test quiz between Lando and myself. We'll see who wins. Multiple Step choice qu answers. Yep. Let's go. You're turning right onto a jeweled carriageway. What should you do, what should you do before emerging? Don't look at me. Well, it's obviously not put on the parking brake. Uh, me. <laughs> Even I don't know. To be <laughs> like D doesn't make any sense because <laughs> it's their job to break the room behind you and to the left side of the road while you just drive in the middle. So B. Correct. Number two, which is the sign for a ring road? Well, the top left is a. Well, you can't answer and then go through it. Okay, the bottom bottom left, the green one, because the other three are not things, and the road signs are always green for the motorway. Oh, the, yeah, the ring road. That's correct. Weird. Because I know how to drive. Oh, That's when like driving, that is literally our job. When driving on a wet surface, how large a time gap should there be between you and the vehicle ahead? D. 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 C. Correct. Depends how fast you're going. I'm going 200. <laughs> <laughs> what should you do when you see horse riders coming up ahead? <laughs> Sorry, slow down and be ready to stop. Yeah. What am I? <laughs> A child passenger is in your car. Who writes this stuff? It's not even English. British. English. A child passenger is in your car. There's no is. It's just, oh. it's, it's just in your car. A child passenger is in your car. <laughs> I'm saying is? <laughs> yes. A child passenger in your car there you go. is under 1.35 meters tall. It is your responsibility to ensure that. Okay. See? Hey, yes. One point. Well, the view is pretty important though. <laughs> No. Which one? Which one? D. The they child has the best possible view. <laughs> like that's always that's important. Cool. Yeah. In which of the following situations is it least safe to overtake another vehicle? Hey, driving on the wrong way. You better get this right now. Is it least? I mean, they're all very unsafe, really, aren't they? Probably in a designated 30 mile an hour zone. Why? There could be a cumin in the road. D. 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 Travelling towards a dip in the road surface. Yeah, okay. if, you, if you're going Line. down, you can't see them coming up, can you? Excellent. Whatever. Your horn should mainly be used for... Attention. Uh, road range. B. Alerting them of your presence. And basically, attention. He's right. This is boring, isn't it? <laughs> While driving down a long, steep slope, you should keep your car's speed under control by C. C's right. Thank you very much, mate. <laughs> I'm coming alive now, I'm getting warmed up. <laughs> While you're driving in daytime, visibility is poor, though it hasn't been seriously compromised. You should activate. Go for it. Um, dip, D. headlights. Oh, C, actually. Yeah. While driving through a residential area, you accidentally crash into a garden wall. No one else is around. You must 
Hey. Mm. You said that too confidently, mate. Way too confidently. That's it. That's it. You're only as good as your last question. What are the scores? Can we run the scores? Like 10-1. 7-3, I think. Yeah. Well, mate. I hope you're happy. <laughs> still past my theory, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah. We both ended up as F1 drivers, so we can't be that bad. Right. Right. Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe this video, although I didn't like it. And I'll see you soon. <laughs>